This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now in front of the house and behind me here you see the Silence electric scooter or moped or moped. And in this video, we're going to do a little range test. So I have fully charged it. It has a 5.6 kilowatt hour battery, two kilowatt electric motor, nice seat, some USB here even. Hmm, a little bit light also. Well, okay, so I'll be using the city mode. You see here we have mode button. You can switch between eco mode. Then it claims 149 kilometers. Uh, wait, let's see, how is this again? First the mode button. Huh, what? There, okay. Yeah, so you want to use city mode. Then it changes gum a little bit. And uh, yeah, I will have to drive now a little loop, a, a, a route roughly here, right? Around my home. But it's going to be some distance, but I want to avoid uh, motorways. Well, actually, I, I'm not allowed to drive on motorway, but even ring roads, I'm allowed to drive it. But it's a little bit scary because it's, uh, usually ring roads, they are 70, 80 kilometers per hour speed limited. And then this one goes at 45 kilometers per hour, I think. So yeah, we'll see. This is the first time I do something like this. Well, actually, I've done something similar in Thailand. Yeah, that's right. But you guys probably didn't, didn't see that video. It was a, a one with a smaller battery and so on. So let's, let's um, get on the run. So, yeah, um, I've reset everything now. Let me see, trip meter. Yeah, there are two trip meters. I just reset both of them. Uh, inverter. Oh, okay, see, average. Okay, where how is this again? How to, it's kind of clumsy. We have this info button there. You press this one, and then we have inverter temperature, also 27 degrees Celsius. Wait, can we see something else here? Battery temperature. Oh, nice. That one is more interesting, maybe. Uh, yeah, so I had to ho press and hold to switch there. Okay. Uh, all right, let's go. We are now at Strömmen. And uh, yeah, I realized one thing. Okay, I brought my warm uh, storm bike jacket, but uh, I see that I should have brought some warmer uh, pants because it gets cold. It's around 17. Well, actually, we can see it here. Uh, it's 16 degrees Celsius outside. So that becomes cold when you're driving fast. When you are just walking, then you don't feel the wind. But okay, so now I'm down to 90%. We have supposedly done uh, 13 kilometers. So right now it could seem like we can go 130 kilometers. We will also check linearity in the state of charge scale. I suspect that it's not linear. So yeah, uh, I guess we just keep driving. So I've been sticking to these kind of small roads here, you see. Uh, mainly 40, 50 kilometers per hour speed limits. We are avoiding the ring road. We are avoiding at least the motorway. We're not allowed to go then anyway. Yeah, so um, uh, yeah, I also see that I don't have any good equipment for filming a motorcycle. Eventually I should get something like a GoPro, but I am a little bit picky on what kind of microphone inputs. I, I know you can get this microphone adapter, but yeah, I want good sound also along with uh, some GoPro stuff, but we'll see what I invest in eventually. But okay, let's keep driving then. We are now at uh, YX uh, Fetsun, so um, yeah, I'm just trying to regain some heat <laughs> Yeah, in my pants. Uh, they are kind of thin uh, for normal day-to-day -day usage, no problem. We're for driving, okay, but for uh, MC riding, then uh, yeah. But okay, so um, yeah, um, I'm going to show you something interesting now. So you see, I checked on Google. I took a little bit of wrong turn here and there, but I, I checked all the waypoints uh, until this point here. And I found out that it's 25 kilometers from home to here. But <laughs> um, the moped reports 30 kilometers roughly. So we have whooping 20% over reporting of distance. And now that we are at 80%, it will then seem like we can actually go, uh, actual distance is around 100 kilometers. Or range but then I don't know if uh, this one is linear or not so okay so I will probably drive until we have maybe 60% left and then I will turn around and hopefully we can get back home <laughs> oh man I'm so cold <sighs> I just tried to heat up myself in the Sun here but I'm taking another rest we have now hit the break point or the end point I think which is 60% battery. Uh, it reports 56 kilometers here, which is roughly uh, close to 50 kilometers. And then GOM claims 65 more. So yeah, I think it's time to turn around. It, huh? Is it really 13 degrees Celsius? Okay, this one is incorrect. It's 8.30 in the evening. So all right, let's turn around and head back to Oslo. Oh, shit. But uh, let me put this one here a little bit. 
Oh, I just need to heat up a little bit. <laughs> like, I didn't know I had to bring winter clothes in summer, but that, I think that's what MC drivers do, but I'm not an MC driver, I'm a car driver. Oh. Oof. We are now back home. Oof. What an experience, but okay. So I drove a little bit back and forth near my home and now we are almost out of juice. Let me show you the display. So you see we have 2% left, 2 kilometers left, 137 kilometers of claim distance. Um, we have to deduct, uh, or subtract 20% from this, but yeah, we're talking about around 116 kilometer range. And then if you look at the other info here, average, okay, it's 40 kilometers per hour. Um, although, okay, although, yeah, battery has heated up to 27 degrees Celsius. Wait, what about, um, uh, let me see, this one. Engine, oh, okay. <laughs> the motor, inverter, okay. So, yeah. Uh, now, I'm gonna plug in, and then we see uh, how many kilowatt hours we actually put into the battery. So, let me see. Turn off this one. Oh, it says goodbye, okay. Um, and then let me show you the cool uh, thing here. Wait, wait, how's this again? Uh, it is here. There. Voila. So, it has an onboard charger here. I'm not sure how powerful it is, but look at this. So this is a pretty cool uh, adapter. This is from Metron. Uh, it doesn't come with, doesn't come with this uh, moped. It's something I had laying around. So let me show you here. What is, what is this thing? Okay, but it's a Type 2 that creates a Shuko and has two switches here. Let me see now. I'm not sure if it works with this one. At least it works with the one in the garage. So if you just plug it in here and take the first switch, it would then do initiate some handshake stuff and then okay and then you take the second switch and now it energizes that's the shuko so let's plug it in mm, all right let me see we are plugged in now so it goes to the uh, plug here and i close the seat oh sorry for my, my voice it sounds a little bit different because i think my whole face everything is just so frozen <laughs> can't wait to get inside and get warmed up but okay here see that it says it's charging uh, if i press info button here it lights up the display so it is charging we don't see how fast it is charging and then when i look at um easy app here it seems to be charging when we look at view session okay i think it's charging really slow Normally we'll see the faces and everything here. Wait, that's weird. Why don't I see that one? Huh. Charge consumption. Well, this is probably some total over, yeah, uh, a <laughs> long time. But okay. So I guess we just have to sit and wait uh, overnight and see what it looks like tomorrow morning. So it's still at 2%. No. So, hmm. Shouldn't it go up soon? Hmm. This is a bit strange. Maybe it's just charges really slow. Good morning. The moped has been charging now overnight and it's fully charged. You can see here 100%. But if you look at the app, um, it still says that it's running, you see? And it hasn't been, okay, huh? Yeah, this hasn't been updated. See the last one is six in the morning or something. And also it seems like it pulled around 400, a little bit below 400 watt. So that means it takes over 10 hours to fully charge it. But I think the reason why it's still running now is because uh, the adapter is on. And as long as it's on, then, you know, it, it counts as if the charging session is still on. It, it doesn't care if you plug in a Shuko or not. So what we need to do is take the, the this one, or a little click, and I guess the other button also and then we can take out this one and now let's see in uh, uh, this one should update and yeah you see the car not connected now all right and then if we go to charger consumption we can then look at the previous charging session what loading okay um charging sessions and then the last one should be here at the bottom there there 
4.7 kilowatt hour. Hmm. Okay, so when they look at the numbers now, so yesterday we drove 114 kilometers with two kilometers left, so that's 116 kilometers of range. I was driving at VMAX, which is probably around 45 kilometers per hour. The speed was showing 52. But uh, yeah, I, I, you know, these ones are locked at maximum 45 kilometers per hour anyway, since it's a moped. Um, but okay, so that's 116 kilometers of range. And then based on the 4.7 kilowatt hour we got out of the, of the socket at least, uh, well, how much is lost here in the charging process? A little bit of uh, heating of the battery, you know, the, the resistance in the battery. Uh, BMS maybe take a little bit, but nowhere near in the car, I believe, or actually I'm not sure. But um, I would count 7% uh, charging loss. And then that puts uh, this one at uh, 3. Uh, uh, 38 watt hour per kilometer. So yeah, this uh, scooter or this moped is way more efficient than a car, obviously. Uh, a Tesla driving at 45 kilometers, that's actually <laughs> hypermiling. A Tesla would be hovering at around 60, 70 uh, watt hour per kilometer. But okay, for more normal driving, uh, uh, an EV would be consuming maybe around at least 120 watt hour per kilometer in city driving. So yeah, uh, this moped is a lot cheaper to run. We're talking about just 3.8 euro per kilometer or how much is that in euro? It's like a, a fraction of a euro cent for running this one. So very cheap. Uh, to my big surprise though, only 4.7 kilowatt hour or like around 4.4 kilowatt hour charged which means that there might be somewhat uh, massive buffer here, maybe around one kilowatt hour buffer, uh, maybe to prevent the, the, the battery here from being destroyed if you actually drive it to zero and leave it there. So just like a Tesla or any other EV, there's always a, a little zero buffer so that when you drive it to zero, you're not going to destroy the battery. Uh, you don't even hurt the battery that much as long as you charge it right away, like I do on a zero mile test. So yeah. Interesting with this silence uh, electric uh, well, electric moped. Um, I got, forgot to mention by the way that yesterday after after riding it for about two hours, I was quite buttered. <laughs> but as long as the weather is nicer, like warmer during daytime, then it shouldn't be that cold. But uh, yeah, at least I tried it. I'm most likely not um, an MC dude. I'm more like a car dude, and I prefer the comfort. Uh, and the seat and uh, all the stuff that comes in a car rather than this one. But okay, anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.